Modern Greek or Neoellenike glossa glossa neo historically and colloquially also known as Romaica, Romaic, or Roman, and Graecica, Greek, refers to the dialects and varieties of the Greek language spoken in the modern era. The end of the medieval Greek period and the beginning of modern Greek is often symbolically assigned to the fall of the Byzantine Empire in 1453, even though that date marks no clear linguistic boundary and many characteristic modern features of the language arose centuries earlier, between the 4th and the 15th centuries AD. During most of the period, the language existed in a situation of diglossia, with regional spoken dialects existing side by side with learned, more archaic written forms, as with the Demotic and learned varieties and that co-existed throughout much of the 19th and 20th centuries. Varieties <inaudible> 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 Varieties of modern Greek include several varieties, including Demotic, Katharevisa, Pontic, Cappadocian, Mariupolitan, Southern Italian, Yavanic, and Siconian. Demotic Strictly speaking, Demotic Demotica refers to all popular varieties of modern Greek that followed a common evolutionary path from coin and have retained a high degree of mutual intelligibility to the present. As shown in Tochaprodromic and Acritic poems, Demotic Greek was the vernacular already before the 11th century and called the Roman language of the Byzantine Greeks, notably in Peninsular Greece, the Greek islands, coastal Asia Minor, Constantinople, and Cyprus. Today, a standardized variety of Demotic Greek is the official language of the Hellenic Republic Greece and Cyprus, and is referred to as Standard Modern Greek, or less strictly simply as Modern Greek or Demotic Demotic Greek comprises various regional varieties with minor linguistic differences, mainly in phonology and vocabulary. Due to the high degree of mutual intelligibility of these varieties, Greek linguists refer to them as idioms of a wider Demotic dialect, known as Koine Modern Greek, Koine Neoelleniki, Common Neo-Hellenic. Most English-speaking linguists, however, refer to them as dialects. Emphasizing degrees of variation only when necessary. Demotic Greek varieties are divided into two main groups, northern and southern. The main distinguishing feature common to northern variants is a set of standard phonological shifts in unaccented vowel phonemes, o becomes u, e becomes i, and i and u are dropped. The dropped vowel's existence is implicit, and may affect surrounding phonemes, for example, a dropped i palatalizes preceding consonants, just like an i that is pronounced. Southern variants do not exhibit these phonological shifts. Examples of northern dialects are Rumelian Constantinople, Epirote, Macedonian, Thessalian, Thracian, northern Euboean, Sparides, Samos, Smyrna, and Saracatsanica. The southern category is divided into groups that include Old Athenian Maniot, Megara, Aegina, Athens, Simi Old Athenian, and Mani Peninsula Maniot. Ionian Peloponnesian, Peloponnese except Mani, Ionian Islands, Attica, Boeotia, and southern Euboea Cretan Cycladian, Cyclades, Crete, and several enclaves in Syria and Lebanon Southeastern, Chios, Icaria, Dodecanese, and Cyprus. Demotic Greek has officially been taught in monotonic Greek script since 1982. Polytonic script remains popular in intellectual circles. Katharevisa Katharevisa is a semi-artificial sociolect promoted in the 19th century at the foundation of the modern Greek state, as a compromise between classical Greek and modern Demotic. It was the official language of modern Greece until 1976. Katharevisa is written in polytonic Greek script. Also, while Demotic Greek contains loanwords from Turkish, Italian, Latin, and other languages, these have for the most part been purged from Katharevisa. See also the Greek language question. Topic. Pontic 
Pontic Pontiaca was originally spoken along the mountainous Black Sea coast of Turkey, the so-called Pontus region, until most of its speakers were killed or displaced to modern Greece during the Pontic Genocide (1919–1921), followed later by the population exchange between Greece and Turkey in 1923. Small numbers of Muslim speakers of Pontic Greek escaped these events and still reside in the Pontic villages of Turkey. It hails from Hellenistic and medieval coin and preserves characteristics of Ionic due to ancient colonial organizations of the region. Pontic evolved as a separate dialect from Demotic Greek as a result of the region's isolation from the Greek mainstream after the Fourth Crusade fragmented the Byzantine Empire into separate kingdoms see Empire of Trebizond. Cappadocian <coughs> 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 Cappadocian Cappadokika is a Greek dialect of central Turkey of the same fate as Pontic. Its speakers settled in mainland Greece after the Greek genocide (1919–1921) and the later population exchange between Greece and Turkey in 1923. Cappadocian Greek diverged from the other Byzantine Greek dialects earlier, beginning with the Turkish conquests of Central Asia Minor in the 11th and 12th centuries, and so developed several radical features, such as the loss of the gender for nouns. Having been isolated from the Crusader conquests Fourth Crusade and the later Venetian influence of the Greek coast, it retained the ancient Greek terms for many words that were replaced with Romance ones in Demotic Greek. The poet Rumi, whose name means Roman, referring to his residence amongst the Roman Greek speakers of Cappadocia, wrote a few poems in Cappadocian Greek, one of the earliest attestations of the dialect. Mariupolitan. Rumeika Romeika or Mariupolitan Greek is a dialect spoken in about 17 villages around the northern coast of the Sea of Azov in southern Ukraine and Russia. Mariupolitan Greek is closely related to Pontic Greek and evolved from the dialect of Greek spoken in Crimea, which was a part of the Byzantine Empire and then the Pontic Empire of Trebizond, until that latter state fell to the Ottomans in 1461. Thereafter, the Crimean Greek state continued to exist as the independent Greek principality of Theodoro. The Greek-speaking inhabitants of Crimea were invited by Catherine the Great to resettle in the new city of Mariupol after the Russo-Turkish War to escape the then Muslim-dominated Crimea. Mariupolitan's main features have certain similarities with both Pontic e.g. the lack of Sinizesis of Ea, Ea and the northern varieties of the core dialects e.g. the northern vocalism. Topic: <laughs> Southern Italian. Southern Italian or Italiate Cato Italiotica comprises both Calabrian and Greco varieties spoken by around 15 villages in the regions of Calabria and Apulia. The Southern Italian dialect is the last living trace of Hellenic elements in southern Italy that once formed Magna Graecia. Its origins can be traced to the Dorian Greek settlers who colonized the area from Sparta and Corinth in 700 BC. It has received significant Koine Greek influence through Byzantine Greek colonizers who reintroduced Greek language to the region, starting with Justinian's conquest of Italy in late antiquity and continuing through the Middle Ages. Greco and Demotic are mutually intelligible to some extent, but the former shares some common characteristics with Siconian. Yavanik Yavanik is a recently extinct language of Romaniote Jews. The language was already in decline for centuries until most of its speakers were killed in the Holocaust. Afterward, the language was mostly kept by remaining Romaniote emigrants to Israel, where it was displaced by modern Hebrew. Siconian Siconian Siconica is spoken in its full form today only in a small number of villages around the town of Leonidio in the region of Arcadia in the southern Peloponnese, and partially spoken further afield in the area. Siconian evolved directly from Laconian ancient Spartan and therefore descends from Doric Greek. It has limited input from Hellenistic coin and is significantly different from and not mutually intelligible with other Greek varieties such as Demotic Greek and Pontic Greek. Some linguists consider it a separate language because of this. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Phonology and Orthography. 
A series of radical sound changes starting in Koine Greek has led to a phonological system in modern Greek that is significantly different from that of ancient Greek. Instead of the rich vowel system of ancient Greek, with its four vowel height levels, length distinction, and multiple diphthongs, modern Greek has a simple system of five vowels. This came about through a series of mergers, especially towards i, ioticism. Modern Greek consonants are plain voiceless unaspirated stops, voiced stops, or voiced and unvoiced fricatives. Modern Greek has not preserved length in vowels or consonants. Modern Greek is written in the Greek alphabet, which has 24 letters, each with a capital and lowercase small form. The letter sigma additionally has a special final form. There are two diacritical symbols, the acute accent which indicates stress and the diaresis marking a vowel letter as not being part of a digraph. Greek has a mixed historical and phonemic orthography, where historical spellings are used if their pronunciation matches modern usage. The correspondence between consonant phonemes and graphemes is largely unique, but several of the vowels can be spelt in multiple ways. Thus reading is easy but spelling is difficult. A number of diacritical signs were used until 1982, when they were officially dropped from Greek spelling as no longer corresponding to the modern pronunciation of the language. Monotonic orthography is today used in official usage, in schools and for most purposes of everyday writing in Greece. Polytonic orthography, besides being used for older varieties of Greek, is still used in book printing, especially for academic and belletristic purposes, and in everyday use by some conservative writers and elderly people. The Greek Orthodox Church continues to use polytonic and the late Christodoulos of Athens and the Holy Synod of the Church of Greece have requested the reintroduction of polytonic as the official script. The Greek vowel letters and digraphs with their pronunciations are, alpha, a, epsilon, ie, eta, iota, upsilon, a, oi, ye, i, omicron, omega, o, and o, u. The digraphs o, u and a are pronounced, avenue, ev, and, iv, respectively before vowels and voiced consonants, and, af, ef, and, if, respectively before voiceless consonants. The Greek letters phi, beta, theta, and delta are pronounced, f, v, theta, and, respectively. The letters gamma and chi are pronounced and x, respectively. All those letters represent fricatives in modern Greek, but they were used for occlusives with the same or with a similar articulation point in ancient Greek. Before mid or close front vowels, e, and i, they are fronted, becoming and c, respectively, which, in some dialects, notably those of Crete and the Mani, are further fronted to or and or, respectively. Mu or over, before mid or close back vowels, o, and, u, gamma tends to be pronounced further back than a prototypical velar, between a velar, and an uvular, transcribed. The letter she stands for the sequence per kilosecond, and psi for, ps. The digraphs ing and nk are generally pronounced, but are fronted to, before front vowels, e, and, i, and tend to be pronounced, before the back vowels, o, and, u. When these digraphs are preceded by a vowel, they are pronounced, and, before front vowels, e, and, i, and, before the back, o, and, u. The digraph ing may be pronounced, in some words, before front vowels and, before back ones. The pronunciation, k, for the digraph nk is extremely rare, but could be heard in literary and scholarly words or when reading ancient texts by a few readers, normally it retains its, original, pronunciation, k, only in the trigraph ent, where tau prevents the sonorization of kappa by gamma, hence, kate. Topic. Syntax and morphology Modern Greek is largely a synthetic language. Modern Greek and Albanian are the only two modern Indo-European languages that retain a synthetic passive the North Germanic passive is a recent innovation based on a grammaticalized reflexive pronoun. Topic. Differences from Classical Greek Modern Greek has changed from Classical Greek in morphology and syntax, losing some features and gaining others. Features lost Dative case Optative mood Infinitive Dual number Participles except the past participle Third person imperative, features gained Gerund Modal particle de a contraction of ethelohina telo na the, na de which marks future and conditional tenses Auxiliary verb forms for certain verb forms 
Aspectual distinction in future tense between imperfective present and perfective aorist. Modern Greek has developed a simpler system of grammatical prefixes marking tense and aspect, such as augmentation and reduplication, and has lost some patterns of noun declension and some distinct forms in the declensions that were retained. Most of these features are shared with other languages spoken in the Balkan Peninsula see Balkan Sprachbund, although Greek does not show all typical Balkan aerial features, such as the postposed article. Because of the influence of Katharevisa, however, demotic is not commonly used in its purest form. Archaisms are still widely used, especially in writing and in more formal speech, as well as in some everyday expressions, such as the date of intaxe okay, literally in order, or the third-person imperative zato, long live. Topic. Sample text The following is a sample text in modern Greek of the Article 1 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights by the United Nations. Arthro 1 Oloi oi anthropoi genuntei eleutheroi kai isoi sten axioprapia kai tadakama inii proikis menoi mi logikei kai siniades kai ophylon na simperiferantai metaxi tus mi numa adelfosinus. Arthro 1 Oloi oi anthropoi genuntei eleutheroi kai isoi sten axioprapia kai tadikaiomata. Inii proikismenoi mi logiki kai sinadizi, kai aphelin na simperiferente metaxi tus mi numa adelfosinis. Arthro 1, Ali i anthropi yeniunde elevthari k isi stin axoprapia k ta dikaiomata. In prikismeni mi loiki k sinadisi, k ophelin na simbariferond metaxi tus mi nevma adhelfosinis. R theta R O ina Ali I and theta ropi e und e l e f theta eri c e isi stin axio prepia c e ta iso mata ni preci z meni mi loi c c e c ni c c e o filin na simberi ferond meta k s i tus mi panevma ilfo sinus. Article 1 All the human beings are born free and equal in the dignity and the rights. Are endowed with reason and conscience, and have to behave between them with spirit of brotherhood. Article 1 All human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. They are endowed with reason and conscience and should act towards one another in a spirit of brotherhood. Topic references Topic Further reading Topic External links Portal for the Greek Language Modern and Ancient of the Center for the Greek Language Hellenic National Corpus of the Institute for Language and Speech Processing Audio Example of Modern Greek Courses Online Course Philoglossia by ILSP Greek Online Course Greek by Radio from Cyprus Radio Broadcasting CYBC in English, 105 Lessons with Real Audio Files Dictionaries and Glossaries Greek English Dictionary Georgiakas for Modern Greek Literature Triadophilides Dictionary for Standard Modern Greek Lexicon of the Modern Greek Coin Modern Greek, English Glossary English Greek Dictionary Modern Greek, Grammar Illustrated Modern Greek Grammar Institute's Official Website of the Center for the Greek Language Institute of Modern Greek Studies of the Manilis Triadophilides Foundation at the Aristotle University of Thessaloniki Center for the Research of the Modern Greek Dialects and Idioms of the Academy of Athens Modern, the Cyprus Linguistic Society Siling, Institute for Language and Speech Process processing.